It felt nice not to hold a paddle again. Um, it felt nice to learn again. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's everything is so accessible right there for you um, on, the, on, the, on the hand paddle. You know, you don't need to spend hours and hours and hours of practice. It's gonna be a lot more accessible. Like I said, it's, it's funny because, you know, there's a handful of people that didn't even want to get into SUP because they don't even, you know, they're pretty hard-headed or stubborn that they don't want to, they don't want to be um, tabulated as a stand-up guy. Uh, a lot of people too, you know, um, avoided stand-up just because uh, it's the hardest thing. It's the hardest journey, the hardest thing in the in your foiling world right just as James Casey said and I remember him saying this on an early podcast is that stand up downwind paddling uh, stand up downwind foiling is the hardest sector of the foil sports right it's and it you know looking back and reflecting and looking at it 100% it is way harder than the, it's one of the hardest skills right and there's all kinds of skills right you got foiling you got Prone foiling, wing foiling, beach starting, um, toe foiling. For sure, stand up foiling is got to be the hardest one. Uh, but one of the main reasons why I got into it and a whole bunch of the boys got into it is, you know, we're not celebrating that we're like, yeah, we're sup paddlers. It was more of instead of doing our Keiko's 10 minute uh, downwind voyaging lap, you know, we'll take out our paddle, we'll scratch into a bump, and instead of voyaging for 10 minutes at a time, we're gonna be voyaging 35 minutes at a time on a longer run. And that's what it was. You know, it was just unlocking all kind of doors and opening windows for us to really do what we really love to do, which is uh, downwind foiling. And out in the open ocean and so it was like a medium for us to go and do and it's crazy because you know we had to learn and put in so much time for you know one percent of our run right only one percent of the time you're trying to get up and the 99 rest of the time you're out there foiling enjoying yourself right um, but what's awesome now is you know with these hand paddles it's gonna be accessible to, uh, to everybody, right? Like, you know, there's gonna be more people, you know, when, once they learn that it's, it's, it's easier, um, they don't have to struggle through the stand up and this and that. And uh, it's, it's just so exciting because honestly, there's, you know, some, sometimes, you know, people ask me about like, hey, you know, how do I get to stand up and it's just, or, you know, they, they want to downwind so quickly, but it's just, you know, there's so much stages, phases, and checkpoints you got to hit off, especially with the stand-up, that it, honestly, you don't know if somebody, somebody can do it, you know, or they have the d determination to do it because it's such a long, arduous journey, you know, and... It's exciting because with this knee paddle stuff, it's, I don't have any doubt in my mind that everybody can do it, right? Um, um, and it's crazy, you know, like big, big uh, shout out and hats off to Dave, Tomo and Jeremy and all, all those guys in Australia, you know, jamming with the hand paddles. Um, especially Dave guys, these guys have been doing it years ago. Um, you know, to think how stoked I am now and how much, you know, downwinding I've done. Um, and to think, you know, my, my first, my real first uh, stand-up board was a 6.0 Kalama board. It was an E2. And that thing was actually intended for um, prone, prone paddling to get up. And this was, you know, maybe maybe two years ago. And the fact that this board was in production so that these guys have been trying and attempting 
years before that, you know? It's mind-blowing how ahead of the curve and what these guys are are knocking down, you know? And it's, you know, um, it's amazing, you know? So all the credit really goes to those guys. Um, this, These are just my art articulations and thoughts and excitement for the for this part of the sport and um, yeah if you guys you guys should try it um, if you have any questions feel free to reach out anytime so excited to really expand and share on this because in the end I think this is gonna get more people um, out into real proper waters you know for all of us who've been on it in those waters that's the whole that's the biggest dope, you know, is getting out there and just being in giant troughs moving so fast. And that's the, those, those are where the ultimate diamonds are. So, you know, I hope we all get a taste that, taste of that someday. And I uh, encourage you, all you guys to, uh, you know, give it a listen, give it a try. All right. Hello.